participation and you made history as our first multi-goal scorer in a match for Wave FC. Can you talk a little bit about the energy, the atmosphere, and kind of the, the feelings as, as a club? Yeah, we were really eager to get our first win under our belt and obviously having it in front of a huge crowd that energized us was really great. Um, and then having a bunch of people get on the score sheet and an exciting TV game, um, exciting game for the fans, I think was was really great for us, you know, as we move forward and progress through this Challenge Cup, getting ready for a season. So you mentioned the progression of getting ready for challenge, the rest of the Challenge Cup of the season. We have our first uh, a true away uh, stand here against the Oil Rain, Portland Thorns. Kind of how's the team gelling? How's the team getting prepped for, for the, the away travel? I think everyone's really looking forward to the next game, to uh, going to Seattle, going to Portland. Um, we haven't faced Seattle yet. Um, it's the only team in the group that we haven't faced, so we're really looking forward to that game, um, which you know is coming up in about a week. So, um, you know, as of right now, we're missing a couple players off at international duty. So once they come back, um, you know, we'll get right back into it. But right now, the players are here grinding and working hard, and it's been just great to kind of focus on training one day at a time and. I'm looking forward to continuing to pick up points in this Challenge Cup. Okay, so uh, this past this past matchup against Angel City was uh, was one of the largest TV broadcasts in the history of the league over 10 years. Obviously, some excitement about our two clubs coming into Southern California, and, and we have especially can you talk a little bit about the, the continued growth, the on-field product, and, yeah. and the improvement over over the course of the 10 years. Yeah, it's no surprise that we drew big numbers on the CBS TV game. Um, I've been telling everyone not to sleep on women's sports, but some people just don't listen, which is fine. Um, but it's, you know, it was a good game. It was a good product that we put on the field, an exciting match, um, and the numbers showed that. Um, so, you know, looking at that consistently, you just see the investment in women's sports needs to continue. Um, and, uh, and we're gonna continue to do what we need to do on the field. And I think that that number in a preseason tournament just shows how exciting the season's gonna be.